This is the ninth in the series. It's the Birmingham Super Prix. The weather much better than it was of Brands Hatch. The front row moves away. Marco Apicello is the man with his foot on the throttle, stays in front. And a whole clutch of cars coming into this first turn. Street circuits notoriously difficult and already cars running wide. Moments of excitement there, but Apicello retains the lead. But there are the red flags that say there has been a problem further back on the circuit. Apicello puts up his hand to let the drivers behind know that he's slowed. The red flag still being held out all round the track. And here's the reason why this is the first corner. And there you can see a spinner right on the apex of the corner. Four cars down abandoned right on the apex. And the track quite clearly blocked. So a restart. Apicella having to do that all over again. Away on the green. Nice and clean coming up to the corner. Apicella still holds the lead at Vanderpol. It is making a bid down the outside now. Eric Vanderpol. And the young Belgian driver who really has shown up very well during 1990. One at Poe and now he's out in front. A good start from Van der Poel. And the field nicely strung out. No punching at all. This is virtually a parade. And this Birmingham circuit, very, very difficult for the drivers. Very bumpy, very hard on cars, hard on brakes, but hard on drivers too. Apicella in second place. He has been there so often during 1990. He must be getting used to it and he must also be getting very fed up with it. But Van der Poel in front of him. Apicella makes a move. Apicella takes the lead. So Marco Apicella leads Eric Van der Poel. And Van der Poel doesn't look as though he's about to give up on that. Eric Comas, Eddie Irvine. And further down the field, more names that have figured higher in the championship this year. And you really can see the difference between purpose-built circuit racing and street racing because it certainly sorts them out. And that's Apicella limping into the pits, a hole in the radiator caused by a bit of debris on the track when he was leading and looked as if he was in no danger. And Apicella must really begin to think that 1990 is not his season. So too, Andrew Gilbert Scott punted into the tyres there. And yet another victim in the tyre wall as this street circuit claims them. And that's Eric Comas out of the car as well. So a severe rate of attrition, even among the front runners. This is the moment that Stefan Prull went out. Tyres smoking under late braking. And it's too late for him. And that contact with the tyre wall virtually inevitable. So Van der Poel out in front. Gilbert Scott still in it, number 12. And more dust and debris. And a car upside down spinning on the track there. And over the Armco, 37 is Fabrizio Barbazzi. You can see him climbing out of the car, the driver unhurt. But a spectacular moment for him and very, very lucky that it wasn't far worse. Vanderpol, no problems at the front. There is the chequered flag for Eric Vanderpol, his second victory of the season and the second time on a street circuit. Comas still leads, McNish is still second, Irvine, Apicella, Vanderpol now fifth and Gianni Morbidelli is in sixth.